Let's talk about digital money. In today's world, more and more of our transactions happen online, whether we're shopping, paying bills, or sending money to friends and family. The convenience is undeniable, but it also raises important questions about safety and trust. When you send money through a bank app, you trust the bank to handle everything. The bank keeps records, verifies your identity, and makes sure your money goes where it's supposed to. This system works because we rely on banks to be the middlemen. But what if you want to send money without a bank? What if you want to move money directly without relying on a central authority or a company to keep things honest? That's where cryptocurrency comes in. And the big question is, how do you make sure the transaction is real and secure? How can you trust that digital money isn't being faked or tampered with? In the digital world, copying is easy. Files can be duplicated with just a click and information can be shared instantly across the globe. If digital money were just a file, what would stop someone from copying and spending it twice? This is a huge challenge for any digital currency. This is the double spending problem. It's the risk that someone could use the same digital coin in two different places, essentially creating fake money out of thin air. If we can't guarantee a digital coin is only spent once, the system collapses. Trust in the currency would disappear and the whole idea of digital money would fall apart. That's why crypto's verification process isn't just a feature, it's the foundation. Every transaction is checked and recorded, making sure no one can cheat the system. We need a system everyone can trust, without trusting any single person or company. The goal is to create a network where trust is built into the technology itself. Blockchain technology solves this, creating trust through code and math, not institutions. It's a transparent, secure way to keep everyone honest. That's the real innovation behind cryptocurrencies. It changes the game by making secure, trustworthy transactions possible for everyone, everywhere. So, how does crypto solve the trust problem? In a world where digital transactions happen every second, trust is everything. But with so many parties involved, how can we be sure that records are accurate and secure? Enter the blockchain, a public, digital ledger that anyone can access and verify. It's not hidden away in a single company's vault. Imagine a giant receipt book shared by thousands of computers worldwide, all working together to keep it up to date and honest. Every transaction is recorded instantly and everyone has a copy, so no one can secretly change the numbers or erase history. Each page is a block, filled with verified transactions, linked together in a chain that stretches back to the very first entry. These blocks are connected using cryptography. Each new block contains a unique fingerprint of the previous one, locking the chain together securely. If someone tries to change a past transaction, the chain breaks, making tampering nearly impossible and instantly obvious to everyone. Everyone can see the ledger, so everyone agrees on the true history. This shared visibility builds trust among strangers. There's no single point of failure. You can't just hack one server and rewrite the past. The network protects itself. This decentralized, transparent and secure system is what makes blockchain revolutionary, changing how we think about trust and record keeping. It's a receipt book policed by the community for the community, ensuring fairness, accuracy and security for everyone involved. When you send crypto, your wallet uses your private key, your unique digital signature, to authorize the transaction, proving that you, and only you, have the right to move those funds. This process is invisible, but crucial, ensuring your security every time you hit send. The transaction then enters a waiting area called the mempool, where it joins thousands of other pending transactions from around the world, all lining up to be processed by the network. Miners, who are specialized computers, pick transactions from the mempool, bundle them into a new block, and verify each one using complex mathematical puzzles. They check your digital signature for authenticity and make sure you have enough funds, preventing double spending and fraud, which keeps the system fair for everyone. Once validated, the block is added to the blockchain, a permanent, unchangeable ledger, and your transaction is officially confirmed for all to see. Your funds are deducted from your wallet and your friend receives them almost instantly, no matter where they are in the world. 
As more blocks are added on top, your transaction becomes even more secure, making it nearly impossible to reverse or tamper with. Most services wait for several confirmations, each one adding another layer of security, before considering your transaction final and irreversible. This entire journey, from your initial click to the final confirmation, is the magic behind crypto verification, making digital money work seamlessly. It's how digital money becomes trustworthy, reliable, and ready for the future of finance. Who are the miners? They're powerful computers competing to solve complex puzzles, a process called proof of work. The first to solve it adds the next block and earns new coins plus transaction fees. This reward motivates miners to keep the network secure. The puzzle isn't about the transactions, it's just hard to solve, requiring massive computing power. This makes it nearly impossible for anyone to take over the network. Miners are both bookkeepers and security guards, making the blockchain trustworthy and tamper resistant. The more miners, the stronger the network. So, why does this matter? Because it creates trust without banks or governments. Imagine Alice in New York sending crypto to Bob in the Philippines. No banks, no delays, no high fees. The transaction is confirmed in minutes, directly and securely. Once added to the blockchain, it's nearly impossible to reverse or alter. To cheat the system, someone would need to control over half the network's power, an almost impossible feat. This technology isn't just for money, it's a blueprint for digital trust, voting, supply chains, digital art, and more. It shifts power from institutions to individuals, enabling true financial sovereignty. That's the future blockchain is building.